Hi everyone, so I'm like hella excited because um, later today at 12.50 I think, um, sorry, um, me and my dad are going to see the new Star Wars movie, which I am again really sad about. Um, for one of you accuse me of being like that white chick or oh that girl you think you know everything or oh she's one of those girls. Just know that I have seen every one of the movies, obviously besides this one or episodes, whatever the correct term would be for them, um, at least two times. I saw all of them, um, uh, when I was, like, 10, 11, because I first started to watch them, but then I say I kind of forgot things, because that was when I was younger, and then when I was 12, I watched them again. So that was my second time, and then 13 I watched them again, and stuff. So like, I've at least seen them at least maybe three times. Not necessarily all the movies or episodes, but at least a good amount of them. I apologize for this. This is my room. I know, you're probably like, it's so ugly, which it is. I'm redoing it, because it was bright as well. Because, um, I was a baby when we painted my room, so I didn't get a choice. My sister was like seven, so like, you know, little kids love bright colors, so... But anyway, without further ado, um, and yes, this is my pajamas, I'm going to put on the clothes later. Uh, I'm going to do like a Star Wars inspired makeup thing, and I hope you guys enjoy. And this is a quick tip for you guys, um, if you have trouble with keeping your foundation on, or like if it gets like weird looking, like kind of like ashy, or um, like I don't know the exact term, but you know like it just, you guys probably know what I mean, like it starts looking like almost like it's breaking, I guess. Um, a quick tip, and I actually learned this from another um, makeup artist, I forget his name, uh, and um, what you do is you put powder first, then your foundation. And I've been doing this for a while now, and it really works, and I really like it. So I'm just going to blend this out. Next, I am going to be taking this Wet n Wild's Color, Co Color Icon Contouring Palette. I'm going to be using the lighter color to set this all, and especially under my eyes, because um, I really want that part to be like non-baggy. Because I'm going to be kind of doing like this smoky eyes, and when your bags are still purple and you do a smoky eye, it looks like you got punched in the face. Then I'll be applying primer, and that's all I'm going to be doing. And just another quick tip, what I like to do is I like to bake my contour. So after I'm done contouring, and it looks a little weird because I haven't had the blush, I like to take the powder with a little wedge and go under it. Let it set for like 5-10 minutes, 
then wipe it off and it gives you such a clean line. It's great and sexy and just like, mmm, yas boo. First, with their black matte, their matte black eyeshadow, which I love, I love matte black eyeshadow, I'm going to be putting it on my entire lid. Now I'm going to be using my nude palette from LA Colors, and I am going to be taking a few different shades here. I'm going to be taking the bottom left, the second one on the left right here, and this, this one. And I'm going to be applying it in the crease, which sounds weird because the one is shimmery. Trust me, it's going to look so good. I'm so excited for this look. It's so odd and unique and just great. And it's Star Wars inspired and for me personally, because they're some of my favorite movies of all time, that cannot get any better. Right now, you should look like an old person trying to do a new trend. So next what I did, um, I took the Jumbo um, Eye Pencil from Next to Milk, and I put that um, from the inner corners here, and because um, I want to keep it more on the smoky side, but wearable, because I'm going to movie theaters. Otherwise, I'd go full on out with Star Wars. And next I'm going to be taking this gorgeous silver color right here. It's, it's so great. And I'm putting it in the middle of the white all the way out to the black. So from here to there. White, that's just gorgeous. Then I'm going to finish off with a white shimmery eyeshadow on the milk. Line my eyes. And that's it. I'll meet you guys doing your brows. Because it's you've seen me do this before. It's... You guys don't need to see it again. <laughs> Alright, so I, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the eyes. And at first, some of you were probably like, what? But after you add the milk part, especially, and the brown, like, it's just, it's such a gorgeous, in my opinion, eye. Like a grayish, gunny look, like guns, you know what I'm talking about. Um, smoky, glittery eye. I think it's great. Obviously, you do you. Now for my eyebrows, I just fill them with pencil and I just brush them out. Nothing special. I have on my highlighter. I'll show you the complete look. So to complete this look, um, I'm going to be using my 534B Mink Brown Lipstick. It is my absolute favorite lipstick. I love dark lipstick. And I always wanted like a brown one. But none of the colors would compliment me. But this one is just perfect. So now all I gotta do is bust up my lifesaver. Life, no, that's not a lifesaver. So now all I gotta do is bust up my weapon and go join the dark side. So yeah, I hope you guys, again, enjoyed this look. I'm sorry it was a long video. I wasn't intentionally making it, I guess, um, showing you guys my foundation and contouring took most of the time. And also, if you didn't notice, this video was a lot of, a little more on the scattered side, because I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing. I know I want to incorporate the dark side, like, look, but I didn't know how dramatic I was going to take it, how wearable, because I was probably, because me and my dad are also going out to lunch first. I had no idea. So yeah, I hope this is uh, cool to you guys. I hope you guys, if you go to see it, enjoy the movie. I just, I love this lip color. And it's from Wet n Wild. It's a dollar brand. It's not a dollar, but... Oh, well, actually, no. This was 99 cents. I love Wet n Wild lipsticks. They're so great. They're so pigmented. They're just gorgeous. So yeah, that's it for now, my lovelies. I hope you guys have a great day. You had a great Christmas. I need to shut up now. Alright, bye.